Hello, hello! Welcome to Sharon V Making Stuff. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys three really easy holiday treats that you can make for your friends, your family, or even yourself to enjoy. So the first treat idea is a hot chocolate or mocha jar. And the first thing we'll be needing is a hot chocolate mix. If you want to make it a mocha, of course, we'll be needing coffee. And just a heads up, I'm showing ground coffee here, but if you're making it a mocha jar, please remember to use instant coffee because we don't want any ground coffee bits in their drink. Also, we'll be needing some white chocolate and dark or milk chocolate chips. And you can't forget the mini marshmallows. And lastly, a jar to put everything inside. So because this recipe is intended for two people to enjoy, I went ahead and added four tablespoons of my hot chocolate mix. If you want to make it a mocha, then you can add an extra two teaspoons of your instant coffee. And then now I'm just adding in my white and dark chocolate chips. And last but not least, topping it all off with my mini marshmallows. After that, just put the lid back on, tie it off with a pretty ribbon. And to add an extra touch, I hole punched, not hole punched, I punched a heart into scrapbook paper and then just taped it onto the lid of the jar. Just like that. And for the finishing touch, we're going to add a tag to the jar just so the recipient kind of knows how much of what to put in according to the amount of ingredients that you've given them. And that is it to the hot chocolate and mocha jars. Up next, we are making mint chocolate Oreo pops. And the first thing we'll be needing are Oreos. Make sure they are double stuffed. You'll see why in a little bit. We'll also need some mint chocolate chips. Some lollipop sticks. And these are the same ones you would use for making cake pops and stuff. Next is some Crisco, which is vegetable shortening. And lastly, some pretty, pretty sprinkles. Here I've got some Christmas colored ones and some metallic, silver, black, and gold ones as well. So to prep the Oreo pop, you're just going to split it open and then take one of the lollipop sticks, place it right in the center of the icing and press down just enough to split the icing in half. And this is why I told you guys to get double stuffed Oreos because original Oreos don't have enough icing to actually keep the stick in place. And then you're going to put the other cookie back on and press down so both cookies are in place and nothing is going to fall off. And there you go. Next, you're gonna melt your mint chocolate chips. I melted about two cups, and I made around 15 or 16 Oreo Pops, but you could definitely dip up to 20 or more, because I did have some chocolate left over. And then you're going to put in your teaspoon of Crisco, and then stick it in the microwave for 30 second intervals. So it took me six intervals later to achieve a smooth and runny consistency, but it also depends how strong your microwave is. Mine is pretty old, so just keep that in mind for reference. Basically, just take it out after each 30 second interval and give it a quick stir. And you'll know it's ready when the texture of your chocolate resembles something similar to this. So once your chocolate is ready, go ahead and start dipping in your Oreo Pops and make sure to shake it gently to get rid of any excess chocolate. And while your chocolate is still wet, go ahead and decorate it with any type of sprinkles that you like. So now you're going to refrigerate your Oreo Pops for a few hours. I left mine in overnight. And once your chocolate is set, it should look something like this. So moving on to the gift wrapping part, if you're planning on giving these to your friends or family, all I did was just 
put it into a long cellophane bag or a treat bag that you can probably find at any craft store and then I just tied it off with some ribbon that matches the color of the sprinkles and then I curled the ribbon using the blade of a pair of scissors. And then I just trimmed off the excess of the treat bag. And there you have it, mint chocolate Oreo Pops. These are actually so good. They are one of my favorites. You guys definitely need to try these. And I'm sure your friends and family will love them just as much as you will. So for the last holiday treat idea, we're going to be making hazelnut and cranberry bark. So the first thing we'll be needing are dark chocolate chips sweetened dried cranberries, white chocolate chips, and lastly some filberts, which apparently is a species of hazelnuts. The more you know. So the first thing you want to do is start off by melting one and a half cups of dark chocolate chips in the microwave at 30 second intervals. And this is basically the same melting process that we did with the mint chocolate Oreo pops. So you're just going to keep an eye on it, take it out every 30 seconds, and give it a quick stir until it is smooth and runny. So once your chocolate has achieved that consistency, you can go ahead and pour it into a parchment lined dish. Now using the back of a spoon, just evenly spread the chocolate around until it is about half a centimeter in thickness. For the white chocolate, you're going to melt a third of a cup and then add a drizzle of vegetable oil just to thin out the chocolate a little bit. Once your white chocolate is done, you can start drizzling it onto the dark chocolate in one direction only. And you will see why in a little bit. After that, you'll be needing a round stick of some sort. I'm using a chopstick. You could use a lollipop stick or something. And just drag it right through the chocolate in zigzag motions, starting from the top and then going down all the way to the bottom. And you have to make sure that you're going perpendicular with the white chocolate lines. Once your design is complete, you can finish topping it off with as little to as many hazelnuts and dried cranberries your little heart desires. And if you want, you can poke down some of the toppings to make it look more embedded in the chocolate. So now you're going to place your chocolate in the refrigerator for a few hours until it has hardened. Once your chocolate slab has hardened, you can take it out and start cutting it into smaller pieces. I decided to cut mine into triangles, but if you want, you can cut it into random shapes, squares, rectangles, hexagons, whatever you want. To give these as gifts, I just put around four to five pieces in a clear treat bag. And instead of using ribbon, I opted for some twine to give it a more rustic look. And for the finishing touch, I added a sprig of pine, which I actually went outside with a pair of scissors and cut off from my tree. And that is pretty much it for the hazelnut cranberry bark. I hope you guys enjoyed all three of these holiday treat ideas. If you did, then please give it a big thumbs up. And if you haven't already, then don't forget to subscribe to Share and Be Making Stuff. And if you guys decide to make any of these holiday treats, then don't forget to hashtag Share and Be Making Stuff on Instagram because I love seeing the stuff that you guys make. I wish you guys all a happy, happy holiday, and I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye!